This is a very interesting 1933 Plymouth four-door sedan. Plymouth uh, started production in 1929, and at that point had four-cylinder engines. But uh, at this point, it brought out a new six-cylinder engine. There was a choice of uh, two heads for that engine uh, that included different uh, compression ratios. One was the silver dome, and the other was the redhead. The redhead had the higher compression. So the horsepower varied from 70 to 76, depending on which head you chose for the engine. Very interesting uh, hood ornament. First one I've ever seen of this uh, model car, 1933. Uh, Eventually, they wound up with the, uh, the ship uh, hood ornament. There's the cowl vent there for uh, ventilation. Obviously, the car has been uh, painted and also uh, has a beautiful new interior. There's the artillery wheels and there's the spare that's in the back of the car because there is no trunk. Beautifully done. This car is uh, really well well done. And in the back, you'll see a little bit better when we get a shot from the uh, front window. You can see that back window there um, on the side has uh, control to uh, open the window. Very interesting, uh, very cushy upholstery. And notice the air conditioning, which amounts to the fan up there by the driver and the uh, third signals that have been added to the car notice the central location of the uh, speedometer and gauges and notice that the windshield does swivel outwards the windshield wipers and the suicide doors here in the back Beautiful red and black, uh, the uh, paint scheme is really uh, pretty cool. We have one tail light there on the driver's side, the gas tank back there, and of course that aforementioned uh, spare, and the turn signals down below that have been added. Very neat car. It offered a lot. It offered a six cylinder engine in 1933 with a choice of compression and horsepower. It was uh, obviously going to give Ford a run for the money. Except, of course, they had the uh, V8. But uh, they had upped the ante, so Plymouth had a, a brand new six. And that's the radio antenna. I didn't see a radio in the car, but uh, it was outfitted for one. And that radiator is really very cool.